Hey, this is Jack Sub Zero Heating and Air. I uh, just want to show you guys how to replace your thermostat today. Um, most homeowners can probably do it. Uh, it's pretty easy, and it's pretty common that people want a new thermostat or need a new thermostat. So, um, all you do, you just get your thermostat here. Um, Actually, first of all, the first thing you want to do is shut the shut the power off. So you're going to have to either uh, go to where your furnace is and unplug it, or you're going to have to go turn off the breaker to the furnace outside. So um, either way, but you got to turn off the power. Uh, if you don't turn off the power to your furnace, then you're going to end up shorting out a part uh, or a couple parts. So always make sure, number one, you unplug your heater or turn off the breaker to the heater. And if you can't find the breaker uh, and if you can't unplug it, then just turn off your main breaker to the whole house and just shut off all the power because it's worth it. Uh, uh, otherwise, you might burn out something. So anyway, all you do is you take your thermostat, well, on this one anyway, and you pull it straight off like that this is the main thermostat and there's always a sub plate right here okay so you have these tiny wires here let me show you up close these are the wires and they're all color coded I don't know if you can see red white yellow green and they're labeled R W G Y and C C is common um, so anyway you just want to disconnect these wires and take out these two screws okay so let's do that this one is C for common and they use blue. So you wanna <clears throat> you wanna make sure that you use the same colors on the new thermostat. So they use blue. This is a blue wire. I know you can't see it, but it's blue and it was on C. So you gotta make sure on the new thermostat you put blue on C. Now I would take a picture of this or just write it down where each color goes. Uh, that way you won't forget or get confused when you're putting a new one on. Okay, so blue was to C, common. Red is R. And you just might have to pry these wires off of there. Or just take the whole screw out. Because sometimes they wrap the wire around the screw. So it's easier just to take the whole thing off. Okay, there's the red wire. W has a white wire. So we got W. Y is a yellow wire. And green is the G wire, the G terminal is the green wire. So once you get them all off, then all you gotta do is take these two screws off. And that's it so the old one is off uh, okay now you want to try to pull these wires out a little so you can have a little bit more play in your wire there you go <clears throat> so you can see the different colored wires 
You got red, white, yellow, blue, and green. Red is the power. This is the power wire. It gives 24 volts to the thermostat. White is for heat. Yellow is for a AC, air conditioning. Green is for the fan. And blue is common. Sometimes they might use a brown for common. Sometimes uh, you don't have a yellow, you, so sometimes they'll use blue for yellow and brown for common. So, however they had it, just hook it up the same on the new one. Okay? Push this back in there. <clears throat> uh, I got pretty much the same thermostat. It's just the updated version. This is the old one. This is the new one. These are just cheap thermostats. You can get them at Home Depot. They're not like the real fancy ones, like the Nest or anything. It's just a basic one, but even if you get a Nest or a real nice thermostat, uh, they're gonna wire the same way. They're all the same as far as how you wire them. So you could put any thermostat you want. I just happen to have this one. And so I'll show you how to just put this one, okay? Okay. All you gotta do is get the back plate off of it. So you just get a screwdriver in there. Just like that. Open it. Okay, set that aside. Now this is your sub plate. It has all the connections right there. Red, white, common, yellow, they're all right there. First, before you do that, what I'm gonna do on this one is put some anchors in here. So I just open these little holes up because the old thermostat was real loose because they didn't put anchors. So you wanna put anchors and the thermostat will come with the anchors. So right here is the bag of anchors they give you. It's just two little anchors and screws. One of these babies. So you put them in there. Hammer them in there. Okay. And then you put the screws in there. Now, this one's going to be a lot better. It's going to be nice and tight. The other one was all loose. It's almost falling off the wall. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, it takes a little extra time to do this, but in the end, it's done right. And you don't have some flimsy thermostat. Okay, now I'm not going to tighten it all the way because I need to get it level. So, you could use a level, but I just eyeball it. I always get it right anyway. <clears throat> tighten them up. There. See, that thing ain't moving nowhere. It's good. Push these wires in there. <clears throat> uh, 
I'm gonna cut these and start new ones so they're nice and clean. So cut the ends off and I'm gonna strip them. Just strip these real quick, it's real easy. Green, blue, white, red, yellow. Um, and that's it, and you just wire them up. Okay, so I got W, this first terminal is W. So I'm gonna put my white wire right there. Now, these screws are small, so you're gonna need a pocket screwdriver, a little tiny flathead, like that. All right, just a small one, because these terminals are small on all thermostats. Anyway, you get your white wire, put it in there, and just tighten it up. Tug on it, make sure it doesn't pop out. Okay, next one is Y. So I'm gonna put my yellow wire right there next to it. Tighten it up. Okay, now G, my green wire. And then I got common and red. So I'm gonna go red next, right here on R. Okay, the last one is C, common. Now, not all thermostats, you, you gotta use common. Only if you have five wires, you could use common with the fifth wire, blue wire. But you also may, gotta make sure it's hooked up in the furnace as common too. Because uh, both ends have to be the same, down here and up where your furnace is. Uh, if you don't have a common wire, just use the batteries that come with the thermostat. That's what they're for. But if you have a common wire, you could just hook up that, and then you don't need batteries. So you don't have to ever worry about replacing batteries. Or you could have a common wire and batteries at the same time for backup. In case you have the thermostat programmed and you lose power, you won't lose your programming settings if you have batteries in there as a backup. So either way you want to do it, it's fine. I personally just like to have a common wire and have power all the time and not have to worry about replacing batteries every year or two. Okay, so that's it. They're all tight, they're all good. All the colors are in their spots and uh, all you do just take the face plate and it goes straight on and it snaps in place. Just like that. Simple. And uh, that's it. So, anyways, I'm going to go outside, turn on the breaker, or you could pl uh, plug your furnace back in and then you'll have to just set up the time and date. It comes with the owner's manual, so 
you can go through there and read it set up the time date if you want to program it for certain settings or certain times of the day to come on you can um, just read in there okay hope this video helps you guys thanks this is Jack Sub-Zero see you on the next one